Hey everybody, I am back and sorry it's so bright in here today. Um, well, I have my windows open, but it's better. Um, my mirror, if you can see it, I know mirrors aren't good to show. Let me shut the light off. It, it accidentally dropped on the floor, which is not too far from where I'm sitting, but there's my mirror now. Anyway, so let me turn it back on. Got to get a new one. I'm going to go with some different lighting, but anyway, for now, I have Lush didn't open today. I was heartbroken, crushed. Anyway, so we're going to go out there tomorrow. Um, la the last I heard was August 13th. They don't know for sure. I think it's because they're afraid they're going to get mobbed. If you get on Facebook where we live and put in Lush at the Village at Meridian, it shows a picture of the store and how it's set up. Um, so it looks like it's ready any minute. I think they're just afraid of, because I have the flyers of where um, the village is. There's like hundreds of stores, Z Gallery, I mean, you name it. A lot of people don't even know it's back there. Um, there in the front, there's like a line of stores, and then you just go in a driveway, and it goes in a circle. It's crazy. There's so many stores there that aren't open yet. So, um it said Lush was going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, be in like four different locations. I'm like, that's crazy. They can't just put their sign out up overnight and open in the morning. Well, maybe they could. I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on it. I will certainly be the first one through the door. That's for sure. Well, I don't know. But anyway, so, yeah, I'm going to be do reviewing a, a red tissue box. No. A perfume review real quick and um, yeah sorry about a lot of my beauty boxes they were late this month all of them were late every single one it was crazy so I decided I think I may just cut them and change my channel around I'm not sure so this is my, one of my favorites this is my second bottle of this stuff it is fabulous this is a Toka Julieta and um, I got it at Sephora. This is again a one ounce. I already went through that other bottle that I reviewed. This is fabulous. I don't like florals. Um, I can open it up and show you what the bottle looks like. My husband gave it to me for my birthday, which is a month from now, which is very nice. He was thinking Lush was opening this morning, so he wanted me prepared. And um, anyway, so. Yeah, any day though, any day. I would have applied. I was thinking about it. I could have named every product on the shelf. I'm sure the manager would have been going, "Who are you? And where do you? Where did you come from?" But I'm not really in the situation to work right now. So anyway, quit rambling and let me open the box and show you what the bottle looks like. Now this is. Fabulous. The scents are. Um, it's inspired by a love story. I read this before. It's it's Italian director Federico Fellini. There's like eight different tokas, um, and then I think as far as I know, they come only come in the one at one point seven fluid ounce. I was thinking it was a one ounce, but down at the bottom you can see it says one point seven. It's pretty expensive. Very expensive. This is a, the perfume or parfum. And um, I went through that bottle, I think, in like three weeks. It was crazy. I mean, absolutely crazy. But when I got this off the shelf, it was a little dusty. kind of worries me whenever something's dusty on a shelf. That means it's not moving, or I would say it's not moving very fast. I don't know, but that's just my guess. So... I will show you the bottle. The notes are fabulous. Um, I'll read you the notes. The notes are sweet top notes of Lang. I can never pronounce this. Is Lang Lang or yeah, Lang Lang green apple and pink tulips bloom into floral delicacy of lily of the valley, vanilla orchid, and lilac. The sweetness lingers, leaving the skin with a hint of pink tulips and amber. Now this to me does not smell very really florally because I wouldn't have bought it. 
it's to me it smells really sweet. I love it. it says love yourself on the um, when you open it. So yeah, the bottle's very heavy. You have to be careful when you pick it up. If you pick it up by the lid, it'll fall. Anyway, so here it is, to Toca Julieta. And the way I found this was um, a sample actually came, uh, a rollerball in my glossy box, and I was in love with it. I really don't like rollerballs unless they're the kind with a metal tip. They they tend to put out more fragrance. The plastic tip roller balls just don't uh, do it for me. So anyway, um, I went back. I had to return the Escada. I found out today that they only put out limited edition items, and I couldn't find the cherry. It's, I kept calling it cherries in the air. It was cherry in the air. So I may have to go to like eBay or something if. I don't really don't think I need more perfume. Anyway, so this smells fabulous. Especially when it dries down at first, you can smell the pear. And then it dries down just sweet. Oh, it's amazing. Somebody said they thought it smelled like an old woman. I wouldn't be wearing it. Trust me. It just smells very, very clean. So it's fabulous. I love it. Absolutely love it. One of my favorites. Whoops. So there's that. Um, waiting on my glossy box for June, for July. Um, I know a lot of people had the star box mixed up because it came at a different time. But anyway, so yeah, I'm, I've got to think over. I'm definitely going to keep my fortune cookie soap box. That is launching on my birthday, which is September 3rd. Um, so yeah, that's going out on that day. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be an awesome box. Fall. I love fall. Cu cucumbers. What is wrong with me? Pumpkins. You know, all this fall scents and everything. I have a huge box over there full of candles. I already said they're the Claire Burke that Macy used, Macy's used to carry. They're the um, pillar candles my mom gave me before she moved. But anyway, so yeah, here is the Toka. I would definitely try... I didn't smell any of the other ones on the shelf. This is I just went straight for this one. Um, I don't. I think this is their sweetest one that they have. So I thought the lid used to be green for some reason. So yeah, that's how you spell it, Julieta. And I think one of my subscribers was told by somebody that it smelled like an old lady. No, it smells very young and fresh. I love it. Whenever I wear this, I put it in my hair. People are always asking me. And sometimes I mix my fragrances. I'll mix it with um, the Rue 21 uh, Pink Ice. And that really smells good because it's pear and grapefruit. And it smells almost smells like a fruit salad. It's crazy. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back with more reviews. I'm not going to wait on boxes. I can't wait. There was a Christmas in July. I put, tried to post for my subscribers so you guys wouldn't miss it from Fortune Cookie Soaps. I know I don't like to mix videos, but anyway, I'll have two boxes coming from that. So that will be an awesome review. All Christmas stuff. They had really cute. They were just cookies, too. That's all I bought. Fortune Cookie Soaps. So, um, yeah. And piles and piles and piles of Lush once they open. I know exactly. I have a list. So, yeah. I'm going to try and go for things that I haven't tried before. That I haven't been able to try. Like some of the fresh face masks. They have to be refrigerated that you can't order from Canada. And, yeah, the cupcake one. And, yeah, just tons of stuff. So, anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. Oh, I also have the Mimi box. That that one wasn't late. That came on time. You guys need to check that one out. That's awesome. That's from Korea. And that's the birthday box. I ordered that. It was 24. I should have done a better review on that one. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so I will see you. I'm going to vlog tomorrow. We will be back. Anthony was mentioning we're, we're going to do a Twitter Q&A. I will let you guys know what time so you guys can get on Twitter and excuse me.
ask us whatever you want. It's open. You guys can ask us anything. And we have to answer it. That's what I told them. I said, if you do, we, you, we do a Q&A, we have to answer it. Excuse me, I'm catching a cold, I think, or something, allergies. But anyway, so yeah, sometime this weekend, we will be on Twitter. So I will see you all later. Have a great afternoon and stay cool because it's like 102 here. Very hot. See you later. Bye.